Hello again. And in this video we're in the Lake District still, and this time we're in Patterdale. Now Patterdale is, uh, is an area of the Lake District around Ullswater, and uh, one of the great things about Patterdale is that this is uh, Area Force, which is uh, you know, one, of the, one of the most significant waterfalls in the area. It's a, it's a tall waterfall, and um, it's not an easy thing to photograph, but we're going to give it a go. So, first of all, around waterfalls, the first thing you need to worry about is, is water. Everything's wet, everything's slippy, and there's spray everywhere. So as I'm sitting here now, the spray from that waterfall is, is hitting me. But more importantly, it's hitting the front of my camera. So I've got some filters on here, which we'll talk about in a few moments. And these are, these are going to get wet. So the thing you need to do is, is keep them covered until you're about to take the photograph, give them a last quick wipe off, and then we're going to take the picture. Now, with a waterfall, they, they have this natural characteristic, which is they tend to be quite tall. And what that means is people are, you, you, you tend to use a portrait type format for your photography. Um, and in this situation, what, what we would get is a, is a gorge with a white line down the middle. And, you know, that, that could work. And I've seen lots of, lots of great pictures in that format, but I don't really think it's going to work for me today. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and do a landscape picture. So to do that, I've got my Tamron 15 to 30 lens on the front, and that's set at about 24 mil, so fairly wide, um, wide enough to give me the height, but also in the water down here, we've got this log just under the surface of the water that then pops up um, just near the bottom of the waterfall. So what I'm going to try and do is, is get that log in the frame to kind of lead the eye into, uh, into the waterfall. And of course, all this rock and all this um, all this foliage on that, on that side there. Now, to do this, two things I'm going to use on the front of my camera are filters, and they are my polarizing filter and my neutral density filter. Now, the neutral density filter is going to slow down that water so it kind of goes to a milkiness. And the polarizer is going to take some reflection out of the water, but more importantly, out of the pool at the bottom, so we can see into the water and see that log. Now we don't want to take too much reflection out because we still want to be able to see its water. We don't want to be able to see through it if it's a dry riverbed. So we still need to leave some, some reflection on there so we can still tell it's water. The other thing I've done, and I'm, and I'm not, I've taken the picture already, I've not taken it from here. I've taken it, I climbed over the fence, I went, I went down there. But I didn't feel that was a good location to take the video from because it's extremely slippy. But what, that, but what that allowed me to do is, is get closer to the water so we can get, we can get more detail in that log and then still get the height of the waterfall. I would not recommend that unless you really know what you're doing and be super, super safe because there's a barrier here for a reason. Um, it is slippery around here. So the last thing we're going to do is, is just whip that cover off the front of the camera, take the picture, and then uh, hopefully that'll, that'll come out um, good. So here we go. Off we go. Now this is a, a, a 30 second exposure on, F, on F14. Of course, I've got my viewfinder blacked out using a little button. If you haven't got one of those, use a bit of blue tack or something and, uh, and that will help. Um, I, can, I can feel the water still spraying at me. The, the front of the lens is starting to get a bit wet. Um, and then um, other settings are uh, uh, ISO 64. So recap that really quickly because I didn't say it very clearly. Um, F14, 30 seconds, ISO 64. Neutral density filter on the front to really slow that shutter speed down to give me those frames. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, They've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.